tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? En una nueva edición aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Tenemos eh, muchas entrevistas, muchos viajes. Estuvimos en Cincinnati, en Nueva York. Estuvimos también eh, probando nuevos autos. Así que vamos a empezar con las entrevistas. La primera de ellas va a ser con uh, el eh, ingeniero en jefe del nuevo Buick Regal, la división de lujo de la General Motors, eh, que es uh, Todd Pollock. Eh, y así que estuvimos uh, con él en Cincinnati probando el nuevo modelo de la Buick, el Buick Regal 2014. Doctor, ¿cómo estás? Excelente. El chief engineer for the new uh, Buick Regal. Uh, so let's drive a little bit and uh, you can explain us a little bit what's new in this uh, new car. Excelente. New um, powertrain, right? Yep, new powertrain. A, a, a two liter turbo is the new standard powertrain uh, for 2014. 259 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque. And, Really, the story is the torque tank. Uh, 90% of the available torque is, uh, is there between 1,700 and 5,500 RPM, so a very, very wide uh, torque band to uh, provide power. You know, this is a mid-sized sedan, and uh, it used to be that these kind of cars would have six-cylinder uh, engines, but now everybody seems to be going smaller, but like getting more power out of the car, more efficiency to it, more, yeah, more yeah, out of the engine, I'm sorry. Yeah, it proves, you know, that the, four, the, the two liter turbo allows us to get The torque that I just mentioned, 259 horsepower, you know, not too many years ago, you needed a V6 to get 259 horsepower, yeah. and then still get great fuel economy above and beyond what we can get with the uh, six-cylinder, and reduces mass, which which helps from a fuel uh, efficiency perspective as well, so get the same power and better fuel economy, which is what it's all about. A good combination. Uh, and then you have the assist, the e-assist uh, system, right? The system, yep, for those customers who are still focused on fuel or even additional fuel economy. It's a light hybrid system we call e-assist. Uh, it provide, provides 25 miles per gallon city and 36 miles per gallon highway. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit how that system works? Because this, as you said, it's a light hybrid. So can you elaborate a little bit how how's the functionality of that yeah, system? Yeah, so 90% of the time, uh, roughly, it works on, on the engine uh, uh, power, but there's a large battery in the rear and that battery is continuously charged and then in certain uh, situations and highway cruise speed we'll pull power out of the battery and and then won't use the engine so we're uh, we, we use the battery in the back to uh, to uh, compensate in, in certain conditions to help improve fuel economy and what's, what's the benefit like, in, in numbers in uh, fuel um, economy so that that engine by itself would probably get uh you know 21 31 roughly so it probably picks up uh you know four mile per gallon city and uh five or six mile per gallon highway so it's it's substantial i mean like it's in the long term i think people will like really appreciate that uh yeah, significant improvement yeah um, and also being a buick i mean we're driving here at not a very high speed but and the road is a little bit rough in some part but nothing it's quiet it's beautiful how you guys do this You know, we've called it uh, uh, quiet tuning, library quiet. We've, we've been focused on this for, for many years now at Buick. We think we've gotten pretty good at it. Uh, acoustic front glass, acoustic laminated glass. You know, the real fundamental is making a very rigid body structure so that the noise can't, uh, can't, can't get the body going into uh, in the resonance. And then we complement that with um, uh, sound absorption materials in the inside of the vehicle, and you put that all together. and. It really provides a nice quiet driving experience. And then on top of that, the luxury that is uh, typical in the Buick products, beautiful finishes. And like a, a new thing, like for example, I really like these new uh, air conditioning controllers, which are like just touch screen, there's no knobs or anything. And they're like pretty nice. I mean, so a lot of detail, right? A lot of detail. We really went this year for for simple detail, though. We wanted to make it easy to use. So when you take your eyes off the the straight ahead driving that um, the buttons are easier to get at that that um, that there's no distracted driving uh, for the customer so eight inch touch screen um, a row of very simple to use knobs below that and then as you mentioned the uh, capacitive controls for the dual zone climate control system so very elegant very simple um, for the customer to interface with and also a lot of safety in this car right like, i mean you are pretty much protected yeah. everywhere yeah 360, every degree, 360 degrees there's a driver confidence one package which provides useful everyday safety technology for collision alert side blind zone lane departure warning which you heard just a second ago uh, rear cross traffic alert we've got a standard rear camera um, so that's a very useful package that comes all together um, and, and then 
you can option up from there to for full, uh, full speed range adaptive cruise control, which is very useful in, in stop and go driving. It'll actually bring your vehicle to a stop if the vehicle in front of you uh, slows down at a, at a reasonable rate. So in, in stop and go traffic in big cities, you put adaptive cruise on and it'll, it pretty it'll, much drives itself. Yeah. Huh? It's getting there. It's, getting it's, there. it's certainly the certainly the first step to, to that end. Yeah, and then to top that, uh, all this uh, luxury design, engineering, and, and technology, I mean, for not a very high price, I mean, uh, you're, this car, the most you can spend of, of the Rito. You know, the 40s, but that uh, has continuous damping control, uh, uh, interactive suspension system, which keeps the vehicle, um, you know, firmly level, and then interactive drive control, which is a very intelligent uh, interaction between the transmission, the steering, the suspension, and the all-wheel drive system that allows the driver to select one of three different modes for different driving conditions. You can actually push a button which will stiffen up the, the steering, it'll uh, stiffen up the suspension. So uh, for that amount of money there's really a, a large amount of technology and uh, ride and handling capability in a vehicle this size. So the Regal is the, the last uh, model that has been recently redesigned and, and re-engineered for Buick, right? Uh, the, it was the Verano that came out like not very long ago, like two yeah. years ago. So you yeah. guys are on the roll. That's right. The Verano has been out less than two years, and it's the oldest vehicle in the Buick lineup. The Enclave has been refreshed. The Encore is uh, is brand new. The uh, the Regal and La Crosse have both uh, gone through their uh, refresh uh, mid-cycle enhancements. So the Buick lineup is, is all brand new, all focused on uh, attention to detail, uh, safety, and, and really driver comfort. Yeah. And now you enter in a new era, at least uh, more openly, about your relationship with Opel in Europe. So that's like the next step for Buick in the next few years? Absolutely. And so there are two good examples right now, the Encore and the Mocha, our small sport utility vehicle. Uh, we work together with Opel to make a vehicle that will work in both markets. And uh, really, by working together, we were able to focus on making a great vehicle. And, and the same thing with the, uh, the Buick Regal and the Opel Insignia, very similar vehicles. We share some technologies and allows us to, to make a vehicle that, that plays in both markets very well and, and share the synergies between the two. Yeah. Uh, are we going to see anything like going into the, um, the direction that the Enclave and the Encore went, like so we're going to be smaller kind of European type cars here in the U.S. in the coming years? Yeah, I mean, overall, I think the industry is certainly going smaller from a fuel economy perspective. Uh, in order to meet federal requirements for fuel economy, vehicles have to be more fuel efficient. Part of that is mass, and part of that leads to smaller vehicles. So I think that's inevitable. Well, okay. Thank you very much for that. Right now, we're going to enjoy the turbo engine here uh, driving around Cincinnati. Ese fue Todd Pawlik, el ingeniero en jefe del nuevo Buick Regal 2014. Ahí estuvimos probando el los modelos con el motor eh, turbo y eh, también con el e-assist que es un híbrido light lo de este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting